Hello everyone, welcome to Crack Chat with Aparna Rastogi. So in today's video, I shall be discussing the concepts of round robin tournament, what kind of questions you can expect and how are you going to solve them. And in the next video, which I'll be putting up in uh, next one or two days, I shall be come discussing a question and uh, application of all these methods in that question. All right. So let's quickly start with it. So what is a round robin tournament? You can take an example of World Cup matches. They are like round robin tournaments. So what happens there? You have two pools. There is a pool A and a pool B. So all the uh, all the team members of pool A play matches among themselves. All the pool members of pool B play matches among themselves. So let's say we have uh, if we have four teams over here A, B, C, and D, and we have E, F, and G, H. Then they will be playing among themselves. So we have four teams. So there are going to be four C2. That is six matches over here. And these four teams will play among themselves. So every team is playing against every other team only once. Usually this is the kind of condition that you have. But it may vary as well. So please do read the question carefully when you solve such questions. So here as well we will have six matches. Then let's say out of these uh, out of these four teams, two teams proceed to the next round, and similarly two teams from here proceed to the next round. Then we will be having matches between these teams. So we will be having semi-finals over here, and then the top two teams proceed to the final round, and we will have the final match between the two teams over here. So this is how usually is the flow of uh, matches in a round robin tournament. You basically uh, get mainly three types of questions uh, in round robin tournament and uh, one of them is I think let's straight away move to the uh, move to the uh, statements itself. So the first statement or the first kind of question can be that what is the minimum points required so that a team can go to the next round? This is the first question that you can expect. The next one is what is the maximum points a team can get and still get eliminated? And the third one is what is the minimum points required by a team so that it definitely goes to the next round? So let's discuss these three statements one by one and see how to proceed in such cases. So the first question is minimum points required so that a team can go to the next round. Kam se kam kitne point chahiye ki iske baad bhi it can go to the next round. So I'll take an example of uh, four teams. So four teams means that we have total of six matches. Okay. So let's take a case of only wins and losses. If there's a win, the winning team is awarded two points and if there's a loss, the losing team is awarded zero point. Okay. So if there are going to be six matches, that means there are going to be six winners. If there are going to be six winners, that means that total of 12 points are going to be allotted, right? What we are going to do in this case, when we have to find minimum points required so that a team can go to the next round, if two teams proceed to the next round, okay? So if two teams proceed to the next round, what we will do is so since I had four teams, I'll take these four blanks. Now I am going to take two minus one. Okay. So two minus one, that is one team to the one team. I will allot the maximum points possible. So is team ko agar maximum points possible allot karne hai, that means this should have won all the matches. So this team would have played three matches and won all the three matches. So I will allot maximum points to this, that is six. Now out of these 12 points, I have allotted six points. I am left with six points, which I will divide equally between these three teams. So these three teams get two, two and two points. Now you would have a condition mentioned in your question that if in case of tie basis, some rules, uh, 
the winner is decided or the team to move to the next round is decided so we are not concerned about this case ki jab tie ho jayega to kya hoga that is not our concern so you can take a case jahan pe humne tie kar diya now one of these has to move to the next round so we can say with a minimum point of 2 the team can go to the next round so basically what we have to do is that if n teams proceed to the next round then take n minus 1 teams and a lot maximum points to them this is what we need to do so let us take one more example of five teams and let's say now that three teams proceed to the next round so five teams means we have five c2 matches that is total of 10 matches that means total of 20 points so we have to allot these 20 points so i'll make five blanks since three teams have to move to the next round i'll take n minus 1 that is 3 minus 1 two teams to these two teams i'll allot the maximum points so to the first team i will allot 8 it can win four matches to so eight the second team can not win four matches now kyunki isne iske sath wala match lose kiya hai so maximum matches that it can win is going to be only three so i will allot six points to this out of 20 i have allotted 14 points i am left with six points which i will distribute equally so i can say with a minimum point of 2 a team can proceed to the next round right so yahan pe hai ki can proceed there is a possibility of proceeding this is how you are going to tackle this kind of a statement or this kind of question let's move on to the next question now the next question is maximum points a team can get and still get eliminated maximum points a team ko mil sakte hain but uske baad bhi it can get eliminated so we will follow a similar kind of uh, rule over here let's take an example that we have four teams again out of which two teams are moving to the next round so i'll again put four dashes now what i'm going to do is since two teams are going to the next round i will make a gap of 2 plus 1 so if n teams proceed to the next round i will take n plus 1 okay i will consider n plus 1 teams barring these n plus 1 teams i will allot minimum points to the remaining okay so remove n plus 1 teams and allot minimum points to the remaining so i will leave out these three teams because two have to proceed i'll leave out these three and i'll allot minimum points to this team iske minimum points can be zero zero we had already seen ki four teams hain so we will have six matches that is 12 points these 12 points now i will divide equally among these three so all of these three will get four four and four points so since they are getting four points and two have to proceed further so with the with maximum points of four even a team can get eliminated let's take one more example of five teams now and this time again two teams are proceeding to the next round so i will take five dashes since two are proceeding i'll remove these three i'll allot minimum points to these two iske minimum points are zero for this the minimum points will be two since this has lost all the matches this one would have won one match against the last team so i had 20 points to 10 matches i had 20 points out of which two have been allotted i am left with 18 which i'll divide equally among these three to so six six and six so with a maximum point of six even a team can get eliminated the third statement or the question that this minimum points required by a team so that it definitely goes to the next round is bases the previous one which we have discussed so we had seen that in case of four teams what was happening with points of 
fourth even a team was getting eliminated right so we can say that this was the maximum point after which a team can still get eliminated is se zyada par matlab ki it will definitely go to the next round so if four is the maximum point at which a team can get eliminated anything more than four that is in this case six because there are no draws or five in case of draws so six in case of no draws and five in case of draws this will be the maximum point with which a team will definitely go to the next round similarly in the next case which we had discussed of five teams so we had seen that with points of 6 a team could still get eliminated right so we can say that with the maximum points of 7 in case of draws or 8 in case of no draws a team would definitely go to the next round so these are the three main type of questions which you will encounter in case of round robin tournament and i'll be discussing a question on this with application of these three and some more questions in the next video do stay tuned do like the video share and subscribe and uh, for rest of the uh, games and tournament series for knockout tournament and for coin games you can refer to my videos thank you everyone stay tuned